Hello, Jax's vlog. So, me and Jax have just woken up. Well, that's not true. Let me start again. Hello, Jax's vlog. Uh, it is, what's the date today? Uh, Thursday. It's Thursday today. Um, we're very excited. We're at this bloody lovely place. Um, and we're planning out what we're doing for the day. Jax is getting some editing done. I'm doing a little bit of editing as well. And then we're going to start the day. They've got wicked coffee here in, in Joshua Tree. Um, and this incredible, it's like a movie set out here. It's like a bit dystopian, doesn't really feel real. So well, last night's uh, last night's boondocking spot was actually on the property of the hotel. I probably shouldn't admit that, but um, Steve um, had a room in there, and they had free dinner last night and all that stuff. If you saw the video, um, but apparently this is a place, a pioneer town. If I didn't already say that, where they shot some movies and things like that. Let's go ask ask Alexia because I feel like. She got some inside scoop that I don't have. So they, they shot movies in here, is that right? Yeah, so they wanted to build somewhere that was like western sets but close to LA. Mm -hmm. So then they came out here and built like this whole like little western yeah. town. That's yeah, cool. That's cool and yeah. Do you guys have any western uh, towns in uh, the UK? No, zero. Yeah. What do you guys think of them? That's cool, man. Yeah. Cowboys, isn't it? Yeah, Cowboys and Indians. Yeah, literally, yeah. it reminds me of. Yeah, totally. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Nice uh, history right here, you know? Yeah, definitely. Like film history and. Definitely. You know, yeah. yeah, I also think it's amazing that um, they've repurposed it. Do you see what I'm saying? Because a lot of these like things just kind of get left. Yeah. But it's cool that they've kind of made it and then you know made it into a motel and there's able to kind of generate income from it and make it like a place, like a destination for people to come to. Yeah, and take care of it and also free entrance. Definitely. And by the way, your guys' room yeah. was so really nice. nice. Really nice. Yeah. yeah. So incredible. Really nice. And actually, John Wayne stayed there. Really? When he yeah. when he was working here, he stayed in, in that room because the room's called the Duke. Oh, yeah. so cool. cool. Yeah, let's go have a walk around. Yeah, definitely. And I noticed there's like a functioning art studio in here, and then pottery and prints, local artists. Um, this is cool. I thought it was just a bunch of like abandoned structures, yeah, just kind too. of like hanging out. But it looks like they, um, yeah, it's like a little um, country western mall. So I really can't tell what is exactly a real store. That's a real store over there, has an open sign. I, it's kind of hard to tell um, what's an actual store and what's kind of like a prop or a movie set over here. Um, but it's pretty cool. It's the first time I've seen it. And I've been out to Joshua Tree, I don't know, a dozen times. So definitely glad I stopped by. You should come here too. We just drove to lunch and by drive, I mean we moved like 20 feet over here. Apparently this is the spot. It's got like 900 feet. 900 reviews, 4.5 stars. We're all hungry, so we're gonna smash something tasty. Catfish sandwich, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. First ever mac and cheese. Grilled cheese, grilled, grilled chicken sandwich. A little bit of gravy on the that side. We all got mac and cheese? Yeah. That's outstanding. Look at that. How is it? Serious. What did you get, Alexia? Tex-Mex bowl. Mm. All my favorite things in a bowl. And then you've got little, little jobbly on the back. Oh boy. Definitely uh, not on the diet anymore, but look who joined us. It's hey. Rochelle from uh, the LTA Summit last weekend. Um, let's hit the road. We're here, this is the next stop. It is the Noah Purifoy Outdoor Desert Museum. Um, it reminds me a little bit of East Jesus, uh, where somebody just took things that would be normally kind of thrown away. This looks intentional. I don't know if you'd 
really throw away like a catamaran. But um, as you can see, you know, repurposed tires. There is, um, you know, some old wood with some old ropes. There's a, wow, that's very interesting. Um, just a little cart with some chairs as, as an exhibit. Tons of like scrap metal. Here's some old bicycle tires over here. Um, some kind of metal stainless steel. There's a little structure. This looks like a little train track. Those are kegs of some sort. Um, wow, look at these old vacuums here. That is pretty cool. This is just like a big old locomotive of old stuff that you would normally just kind of bury and throw away. Um, this is super cool. Yeah, really <laughs> you guys cool. should definitely, definitely come out here. What do you think? Really, really, really cool. Like, you can see he's kind of, he's gotten things that haven't, that we're gonna be thrown away. Yeah, like um, TVs but, and refrigerator, or washers. more than that, more yeah. than that for me, he's like, I just feel like he's making what he wants to make. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's not feeling pressured by any like, outside like force. He's just like, I'm just gonna make a train made of beer kegs and yeah. bike tires. Isn't that cool? That's what, what? nuts, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just wow. saying, like, only in the desert would you find somewhere like this. Like this type of kind of, because one, there's the land to do that. Yep. And it's pretty unique. Wow. This is cool, right? Whoa. This is crazy. This, this place is almost a little overwhelming for me. Yeah. yeah. I keep wanting, I keep there's... waiting to, like, see someone, like, pop out there. <laughs> I know, like someone just in the bed here. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is, I mean, I feel like I'm intruding in someone's like living space here. You know yeah, what I mean? Like the washing like, stuff. Yeah, like in the midst of like doing laundry. It's yeah. so crazy. I also like how we're all chatting to each other with cameras. <laughs> yeah, we're fully immersed in the experience. Yes. This place is the definition of one man's trash is another man's treasure. It is just filled with all, ki filled with all kinds of oddities, weird things, and, um, this is by far the most impressive, um, like, I don't know, garbage art museum that I've ever seen. I kid you not, Steve has been in the bus for maybe less than a half an hour total. And yeah. what are you doing right now? I'm just, I'm actually on Auto Trader, which is a website back home. I'm looking at vans because I want to, I want to convert one back home and then drive with Alexia around Europe and stuff. Oh, that would be um, amazing. I think that would be cool. And take the dogs, like, I think that would be wicked. Yeah. Maybe, I'll, maybe um, I'll bring the bus over by the time you do that and get it finished. Definitely. We'll, we go together. Caravan. Oh, yeah. yeah. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below if you think I, sh I, I should go over to the UK and uh, Dan the Adventure Bus. So just like I was saying at the uh, LTA summit, if there's something that you're really passionate about, you should just do it, regardless of the fact that you get paid or not. And I feel like if you're an artist, you could totally move to the desert and do something totally bananas and bizarre artistically and, um, and live a life that you dream of. There are some places that are still like $1,000 an acre. And if you're picking up, you know, kind of like junk stuff, you could totally make all kinds of art for like free, just your time. And I feel like that would make your soul happy as a human being to, uh, to actually do what you love instead of, you know, work for someone else and someone else's dream. Uh, that says colored if you can't read that because of the exposure, obviously toilet. And then white and you have a drinking fountain. Totally appropriate for our history, unfortunately. Just like that, we are back at Joshua Tree, and uh, looks like Arya has climbed up this giant rock up there. How's the weather up there? <laughs> All right, <laughs> probably can't hear me because it is so windy. Um, oh, yeah. And it looks like people are maybe doing some rock climbing over here as well, which is the first time I've seen people doing rock climbing um, right here specifically. 
Wow, look at how high he's up there. <laughs> he, it's like they're, it's like they're using like support cables and things, and this guy's got like nothing. So it makes me, makes me a little concerned for this guy. But uh, definitely par for the course for Arya. So we have the bus parked right here. Ari is inside editing uh, Louis, fun for Louis uh, stuff. Um, the guys are across the street, uh, Alexia and uh, Steve. So I think we're gonna go get like, I don't know, a little, little snack or something. And then after that, jump in the pool. This place, another, <laughs> they're good at finding places. The place they have is some boutique hotel across the street and the pool looks amazing. Uh, what did we order? Uh, the world's biggest pizza. It's <laughs> amazing. So we are now at a um, Bill's Pizza Palm Springs. I'm gonna put this down and I'll put this right here. <laughs> <laughs> 